الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear respected brothers and sisters Inshallah ta'ala We're going to speak Inshallah ta'ala about Zakat al-Fitr Because we have only a few days left and Eid is going to be here, we want to know the rulings of Zakat Al-Fitr. The Shaykh Ibn Utaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, he said this noble month is almost over. So whoever was good in this month, then let them praise Allah. And whoever was not, then let them repent to Allah. Indeed, Allah has made it obligatory to end this month with giving the zakat al-fitr before the Eid prayer. We will talk in detail about it. As for its ruling, it is an obligation that was obligated on us from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And whatever he obligates or orders us, it is taken the same as something obligated on us from Allah subhanahu wa taala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the meaning of which whoever obeys the messenger, then he, they have indeed obeyed Allah. And it is an obligation on the young and old, male and female, free man and, and, and slave from the Muslims. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made zakat al-fitr from Ramadan obligatory. A sa' of dates or barley on the slave, free, male, female, young, and old from the Muslims. It is not obligatory to be paid on the baby still in the mother's womb, the mother's stomach. But if they pay it for the rewards, then that is okay. That is okay. Uthman radiallahu anhu used to take it, used to take it means give zakat, on the unborn baby. Each person is responsible for paying zakat on themselves. If they cannot, then their family can pay it for them. Whoever cannot afford to give one sa', then they can give less. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fear Allah as much as you are able. And the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa if I order you with something, then do it to the best of your ability agreed upon as for the wisdom, the wisdom behind, the wisdom behind paying the zakat, paying zakat al-fitr. The sheikh, he said, it is sustenance for the poor. It is a sustenance for the poor. Now, and it will stop them from begging on the day of Eid they will be able to join the rich people in their happiness. And it will be Eid for everyone. It is also made, a, made uh, it, it also makes a person more generous. And it purifies the person's fast and completes any deficiencies in it. It, is, it, is, it also shows a way to thank the blessings bestowed upon us from Allah for finishing fasting in this month and worshipping in it. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made zakat al-fitr obligatory for the, fasting, for the fasting person as a purification from sins committed during the fast and to feed the poor. So whoever gives it before the Eid prayer then it is an accepted zakat. And whoever gives it after the Eid prayer, then it is considered charity, collected by Imam Abu Dawood and Ibn Majah. It should be given in the form of human food, li like dates, rice, raisin, or other types of food for humans. Zakat al-Fitr was given in dates or barley during that time, because that is the food that they used to eat. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri said, we used to give on the day of al-Fitr 
during the time of the Prophet ﷺ, a sa' of food, and our food was barley, raisin, cheese, and dates, collected by Imam al-Bukhari, rahimahullah. So it is not permissible to give animal feed, because the Prophet ﷺ obligated it to be eaten by the poor, no, not by the animals, nor should it be given as a cloth, clothings, or covers, and other things, only food for humans, because the Prophet Sallam, he made it food. And you should not do other than that. It is not permissible to give the equivalent of the food. It means give money. So you don't give money. This is not, this is, this is a weak, weak madhab. The, the Hanafi madhab. This is going on something different than what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what the Prophet Sallallahu ordered. As the Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever does an action that is not from us, then it is rejected, collected by Imam Muslim. Also, given the equivalence is, given the equivalence is against the actions of the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, as they used to give it as a sa' of food. As the Prophet Sallallahu said, it is upon you to follow my way and the way of, of the rightly guided caliphs after me. Collected by Imam Ahmed, Abu Dawood, and Ibn Majah and Tirmidhi. Zakat al-Fitr is an obligation, is an obligatory act that is very specific. Very specific. So it is not permissible to give it other than how it was specified. <coughs> so it was specified in food stuff. So we should not give it in clothings or other than that, or money or something like that. Just like it is not permissible to give it in other than a specific time, it is something given in front of everyone publicly. Not, not like money which is given secretly between the giver and the taker. The sa' should be given in terms of the measurement during the time of the Prophet wasallam and adjusted to today's measurement. So the Sa'a, Sheikh bin Baz, rahimahullah, he estimated it, in, and also the permanent committee of Ifta, they estimated it to be uh, approximately three kilograms. Approximately three kilograms. So if you give three, three, three kilograms, it's, it's good. So in pound is six pound plus. So if you round it up to seven pound, it's good. So each family member, each one, uh, gives seven pound okay so you see if you are three that's 21 pound right the time that it, it becomes an obligation is the right is the night of eid the night of eid so if someone dies before the setting of the sun even if it is by two minutes then it does not have to be paid because he died before it was obligated upon him but if someone dies after the setting of the sun even by two minutes then it must be paid on them because it became obligated on, on them at that time. Also, if someone is born before the setting of the sun, then it must be paid on them. It must be paid on them. Because now, they're human being. So, zakat is to be paid on their behalf. As for the times to, be, to, to give the zakat, there are two. A time that is preferred and a time that is permissible. As for the time... For, for, the, for the preferred time, it is the morning of Eid, before the prayer. As the hadith of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, radiallahu anhu, said when he said they used to give the zakat on the day of Eid. And a hadith of Ibn Umar, the Prophet ﷺ used to order the zakat to be given before the people leave for the Eid prayer, collected by Imam Muslim. For this reason, it is good to delay the Eid prayer, so that the people can have time to give out the zakat. As for the time when it is permissible, this is before Eid by a day or two. And even three days. Sheikh bin Baz, rahimahullah, has a fatwa on that. Uh, Ibn Umar, radiallahu anhuma, it is mentioned that he used to, he used to give zakat al-fitr uh, two days or three days before Eid. It is not to be given after the Eid prayer, without an excuse, without an excuse. 
Otherwise, it is not accepted. If a person has a valid excuse, then this is fine. Like being at sea during the time of Eid or being told about the day being Eid and it is a surprise to, to, to you. Or if you are relying on someone to distribute it for you and they, they forgot, they forget, then this is fine to give after Eid prayer as well. So if there is an excuse, alhamdulillah, there is no problem. As for the place where the, where the people receive the zakat, they, sh- they should be the poor people living in the area, regardless if a person lives in a Muslim country or not, or if the people in a different country could use it more. It is to be given in the area where a person is living. As for people that receive the zakat, they are the poor people who have debts that they cannot pay by themselves. It is permissible for the zakat, to be distributed on more than one person. And it is permissible for all of the zakat to to go to just one person as well. It is also permissible for the poor person to take the zakat and use it as zakat al-fitr for themselves or their family members. And that's the end of it. So basically, this is zakat al-fitr. Zakat al-fitr is supposed to be given in foodstuff. Zakat al-fitr is not to be given in money or clothing or covers or anything else, oil or anything like, like that, cooking oil or something like that. It has to be uh, food stuff, like for example, barley, raisin, uh, for example, rice or beans or uh, also lentils or, or things like that. So it has to be dry food and it has to be from the food of the people of that particular country. So for example, if they eat, for example, bread, if they eat bread, then you give grain, barley, wheat and stuff like that. Um, Can you give ground barley, for example? Yes, you can. You can. There is no problem. There is no problem if you give because as a matter of fact, it's better for the poor, for the poor people because, um, you're gonna make you're gonna make it very easy for them when you give them uh, zakat al fitr already. Alhamdulillah, uh, the 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 wheat is already ground is already ground, so you, they don't have to grind it. They don't have to grind it. So you make their life a lot easier. Alhamdulillah. So up to here, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to grant us all beneficial knowledge and righteous action. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammadin. وآله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته